What is your favorite uh, dad joke? Like, as in, Ooh. like, kind of, you know, because I know in the film, like, you were doing a couple of, like, cheesy dad jokes. Do either of you just have one tucked away that you can pop out at a moment like this? Two fish are in a tank. One turns to the other and says, do you know how to drive this thing? That was the first one that came to my head. That's pretty good, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. That's pretty good. Patrick? Uh, Why do pirates look like pirates? I don't know, why do pirates look like pirates? Oh, no, hang on, this... Oh, no. No, why do... This is the one. This is the one that Milo, my my, my seven year old, he he kind of writes jokes. So he actually, oh wow. So he sort of writes dad jokes. Oh, wow. amazing. Yeah, hit me. All right, Milo. Let's. Um, there's your shot. It's. I feel like this is all set up for the joke. As well. <laughs> I feel like you're just kind of like really, <laughs> like you're building yeah, yeah, up yeah. to it. Like you're kind of like setting the scene. Like yeah, hit me. Uh, it, it's he says uh Dad, why do pirates um, sound like pirates? And I don't know. I said, I don't know, Milo. Why do pirates sound like pirates? But he hasn't got the joke oh, right. Oh, he hasn't got the punchline yet. No, he had, no, no. So he hasn't got the joke right. right. So he goes, because they are. Um, that's that, good. It's not bad, but the structure isn't quite right. Even and I haven't the heart to tell him. That's a joke. Well, like it's a good joke. It's a solid joke. It's so, it's it's it, to be fair, it's solid for a seven year old. Yeah, yes. and because like, they are. Yeah, yeah. that's and, good. And like any kind of pirate theme joke is good. Like my to do, like my dad joke is a pirate theme joke. Oh, so. Go on, let's have your dad do you joke. Want to hear here it? we go. Okay, yeah, here we go. So I was on holidays and I was in Jamaica, and the apple strudels there are like about twenty dollars. <laughs> And I was in Trinidad and Tobago and I was trying to get like um, a rhubarb tart and that was like $50. It's amazing, right? And then finally I went to, uh, where did I go to? Oh yeah, I went to Belize and I got this chocolate muffin thing and that was a hundred pounds. That's just the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Very good. Oh, Very good. <coughs> Our work it. here. It's the setup. It's Our the work setup. Here. Yeah. And, and when you were it's doing that, I was like, no, is this part of the joke? Or is he See, that's what I'm saying. It's the setup. Yeah. You gotta, it's, yeah. the, it's the build-up. That's yeah. why it makes it so funny. It's the yeah. build-up. That's a winner. <laughs> that's a winner. That's it. You just you're, you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? What fucking pies? <laughs> and then it's like, <laughs> like you're doing the thing. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, yeah, there you go. Um, when you're in a film like this that is, I mean, we're cracking jokes now and all the rest of it, but like a film that does have a very dark core to it. When you're off camera, I mean, do you find you're kind of like taking the piss out of each other to elevate yourselves or do you kind of sit in it and, you know, walk around with that in your head or how do you do it? Like, uh, a, a lot of that movie was sort of pretty hardcore. So in between takes anything that was remotely a relief. Yeah. Um, you know, for a few minutes. Yeah. Or and I think even like playing into that, my train of thought was, oh, that's life too, you know, and that's what the characters are doing. They're constantly putting up fronts in front of this. So yeah. if we're having the crack or, you know, trying to direct your mind to someplace else, well, then that's that's good. So no, we, it wasn't like all doom and gloom. Yeah. It was actually lovely. No, that's good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> no, because I, 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 would, I would think with something like that would after a while it would be exhausting and trying to go into, do all that kind of thing. It was, um, you know, what was nice about it was was that most of that crew were just delighted to actually be working. We shot that during course, the pandemic. Yeah. So weirdly, you're shooting a really, really sad film, but everybody on the crew really, <laughs> really to happy to be <laughs> working. So it was a, it was... Weird uh, vibe. Like, yeah, just yeah. a position. Yeah. Um, your term, your accent was brilliant, by the way. I thought your oh. accent was really strong. Oh, thank you. Well. Patrick... Can you critique? I mean, was there any kind of like at any time where you're like, that doesn't fucking sound right. That's not right. Did you ever like? Was there any moments where you like had to jump in and? So, for this woman to to drive up the road from Dublin and to walk onto a set with a completely pretty much Belfast based crew, and not one person, not one person, she didn't come out of the accent for wow. pretty much two months to the point where Federico who was our uh, DOP, Yeah. last take. And then she started speaking in her dub accent again. And he went, he's from Argentina. He goes, well, what, 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 what's happened? Hey. What, 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 what's going I on I can't here? understand her. I literally can't understand her. Where's she? Yeah. Because his ear had gotten used to like so yeah, of course. Belfast yeah, yeah, yeah. accent from everybody, you know, uh, or give or take. So. And you dropped it like the second, like the last shot, like it just went, 
Yeah, well, kind. I was still kind of going in and out, and I kind yeah. of had to shake it out a little bit. But, right. Um, yeah, and it was up. It was our director who suggested that and kind of gave me the confidence to no stay in the accent because I felt a little bit nap going. Oh, what would people think if I stay in the accent? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But it, it was really, really helpful, and um, yeah, it helped inform the character. Helped. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and for me, as someone, like, I started out doing impressions, I started out doing voices, and that's a thing, and that's where my ear goes to. Mm. And most people, when they're trying to get an accent, they normally, they go overboard. Yeah, they exaggerate, yeah. So, you know, she had it just... Well, I initially butchered it, and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, when I was, when we were in rehearsals, yeah. stuff, I was like, just, and we got over that icky bit, and then hopefully it got better. So. I know it did, yeah. Like, I mean, it's very, like, as you say, like, it's very, very subtle. Was there anyone specific that you were, I don't want to say impersonating, but, like, was there someone you were listening to as a reference, or was it just... No, I just, like, Belfast. I yeah. just was going around coffee shops and listening to, yeah, anything I could get my hands on. Good stuff. Okay, final question. Both of you, uh, give me your favourite stand-up comic and your oh. favourite stand-up bit. Oh, um, that's too hard. Yeah? That's oh, so man. hard. Living and, or and dead. The, and the jokes that come are like, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. What, like Eddie Murphy or something no, like that? No, yeah, well, Billy Connolly has some yeah, on, good yeah. stuff. Yeah, and, Billy, well, like... Some, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Billy Connolly... Billy Connolly's probably pound for pound for me. Like, I was lucky Is enough it, yeah? to... Yeah, I was lucky enough to meet Chris Rock once. I'm lucky enough to meet Billy mm -hmm. Connolly. I mean, like, Billy Connolly's routine about... Uh, years ago about... Uh, shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> and he was saying, ho ho -ba! <laughs> The whole grown up in Glasgow. That was the months before November. It was that's for me. <laughs> any better than that? That accent yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Holy shit! That's him. Go hey. see, go see Bally Walter. You'll feel so much more interesting. <laughs> Very good. Get that on radio. Get that. Think, that's amazing. Doing it. Holy shit! <laughs> right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> there can't, can't top that. Uh, Beats the bad dad joke. Uh, Just no. I'm not going. Get down to that gig before I knock into next Sunday. I wouldn't be here without you. Yeah,